Hello and welcome to EVGA Tech Tip for week number one. Today we're going to be looking at your frequency relationships, how your CPU frequency and memory frequency relate to one another. So where I'm going to go is uh, to frequency and voltage control. Once I go in there, I'm going to take a look at my CPU frequency. It's set to auto, which is 133 megahertz. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that to 200. And you can see that once I increase my CPU frequency, or B clock, to 200 megahertz, my CPU frequency went up to 3.6 gigahertz, and my memory frequency went up to 2,000 megahertz, which is a little bit higher than what I was trying to do. I was hoping for closer to 1333 megahertz. So the reason that that went so high is because my memory uh, ratio is set to 2 to 10. And what that means is 200 megahertz times 10, that gives me 2,000. So I want to decrease my memory ratio to uh, get that closer to 1333. So to do that, I'm going to head over to the memory configure setting. And once I'm in here, I'm going to change my DRAM frequency. I'm going to change that from a 2 to 10 memory ratio down to 2 to 6. All right. So uh, now that I've done that, you can see that my memory frequency is now 1200 megahertz, which is a little bit closer to the 1333 that we were hoping to achieve. You can also see that th that did not affect my CPU frequency overclock at all. I'm still at 3600. So what I can do now is increase my B clock or CPU frequency to try to get closer to 1333. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this to about 220 megahertz or so. But now you can see my CPU frequency is almost at 4 gigahertz, which might be a little bit too high for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to decrease my CPU multiplier. A CPU multiplier is also, just like the memory, is also a multiplier off the standard B clock. So I'm going to decrease that to 16x, which means 220 times 16, which gives me 3.5 gigahertz. So now that's a little bit closer to what I was trying to do. I'm going to go ahead and run my stability test, make sure this is stable, and of course increase it further if I'm able to. So there you have it, this week's tech tip. Tune in again next time for another tech tip brought to you by EVGA. I'll see you then.